What is going on everyone, my name is Coder Mort and welcome back to episode 5 of Electronics. In this episode, we are going to talk about a very important electronics component that we are going to be using a lot, and it is the resistor. The resistor is very important and we are going to learn all about it. Now in the last video, we talked about resistance, which is measured in ohms, or you might see this symbol around somewhere. And resistance is very important to have in a circuit. And a resistor basically provides a circuit with some amount of resistance. It will actually resist the current, however many ohms that resistor is going to provide. And trust me, if you don't understand all this, we will learn all about it today. And later on in the video, I'm actually going to show you a real resistor and we're going to work with it. Now, why in the world do we really need resistance? Well, let's say we have a battery here and it has two terminals here at the top. Who cares what they are right now? Just know we have two wires here. And these wires, let's lead them up to a little light bulb. And this light bulb is giving off a bunch of light. Now, we are going to do something similar to this in a couple of videos. And this actually will not work in our case. The battery, in this case, just imagine, is providing a ton of current to the light bulb. And the light bulb can't handle it. And this might actually burn out the light bulb and cause the light bulb to be not able to work. Instead, we need to limit, we need to resist some of the current. That way we don't overload the light bulb and it, it'll blow out. So in this case, we would add a little resistor into this uh, wire right here. And that will help resist some of the current. That way the light bulb can actually work. Don't worry, we're going to get all into this in a little bit. So before we get started here, I want to point out a few things that you might see along your journey. You may see something that says 1 ohm, and that means 1 ohm. But you might also see something that says 1 k ohm. This stands for 1 kilo ohm, and that's actually equivalent to 1000 ohms. You may also see something called 1 m ohm, and this stands for 1 mega ohm, and that really means 1 million uh, ohms, and I spelled that completely wrong, 1 million ohms. I just wanted to point this out. These are just three different units. You have ohms, which are regular, what you're going to use in equations and all that. Then there's 1 kilo ohm, that really just means 1,000 ohms. Then you have mega ohms, that really means million ohms. So you could have, uh, say, 2 mega ohms, that's 2 million ohms. Maybe you have 20 kilo ohms, that's 20,000 ohms. Just something I thought I should point out. There are multiple types of resistors, but the most common one that you'll see, and hopefully the ones that you're going to be getting, look a little bit like this, and I'll show you one later on. But basically, it's a little component, and it has two wires coming out the ends, and it has a little body here. This is a resistor. Except, how in the world do we know if this resistor is a 10 ohm resistor, or maybe a 1 kilo ohm resistor, or a 1000 ohm resistor? How do we know what this resistor is going to provide to us? Well, these resistors actually have little color bands on them. So, say this re resistor has a brown color band, then say it has two black color bands, like so, and then say it has a red color band at the end here. These color bands will actually tell us how many ohms of resistance this resistor will provide for our circuit. I know that this color band arrangement means this resistor will resist 10 ohms of resistance. Now, how in the world do I know that? Well, I didn't memorize it. I actually have a very handy chart over here. You can get this chart on my website. I recommend that you print it out or save it somewhere that you can access easily because this chart is very important. You're going to be using it a lot and I'm going to teach you how to use it. Basically, we are going to look at the very first color band. In our case, it's a brown color band. So on the chart, you're going to go over to the first column and we're going to see under brown is the number one. So we're just going to write down the number one here. The second color band is black. So we're going to go under the second column here go under black, which is zero. So we're going to put one, zero, like so. Then the third color band is also black. So we're going to look under black, and we're going to go under the multiplier. The third color band is called the multiplier band. In our case, black, which is our third band, is a multiplier of one. And that basically means take the number that you already have, in our case is 10, and multiply it by one. This will give you your final resi resistance value. In our case, 10 times 1 is 10, or 10 ohms, like so. Now, what is this red band for? Well, the red band, or the last band, whatever color it is, is called your tolerance. If we look under the chart here, red has a plus or minus 2% tolerance. 
Now, don't worry about the tolerance that much, we really don't care about it. Tolerance is basically, how accurate is this resistor? Plus or minus 2% tolerance means this resistor, in our case, might be 10 ohms, but it could be a little bit under 10 ohms, or it could be a little bit over 10 ohms. It's not going to be exact. But if we had a tolerance of, say, a gray color band, so plus or minus 0.05%, that is an extremely accurate resistor. That resistor is going to be as close to the rated value as possible. It's not going to vary that much. For the things that we are going to be using resistors for, it's okay if you have a gold band, plus or minus 5%, that's plenty. Even silver might work for a lot of the things that we're doing. So tolerance is basically how accurate is the resistor. We don't really care about that right now. We just care about the first, second, and multiplier bands. So let's try a different example here. Say we have a resistor that has a red band, and we'll do a black band. So we have a red band, a black band, and we'll have a green band here as well, and we'll have another green band at the end here. So this is our resistor. How many ohms is this resistor going to provide us? Try and figure it out yourself right now. Well, if we take a look, our first band is a red band. So under the first column, red is 2. So we're going to write down the number 2. The second band is black. If we look under the second column, under black, we have 0, so 20. Then our third band is green. And remember, the third band is the multiplier green band. So under green, we have to multiply this by 100,000. So 20 times 100,000 and that is going to get us our final resistance value. In this case, 20 times 100,000 is, I believe, 2 million ohms. You could also write this as 2 m ohms, 2 mega ohms, like we talked about in the, vid in the beginning of the video. And of course, this resistor has a tolerance because we have another green band of plus or minus 0.5. Percent, So it's a fairly accurate resistor. That's pretty good, but we don't really care about the tolerance. Who cares about that? So hopefully you know how to find the value or the resistance value, the ohm value of a resistor. Now let's actually take a look at an actual resistor. Okay, so here we have two actual resistors. Here we have a one kilo ohm resistor at 5% tolerance because we have a gold band at the end. And the bottom resistor here, we have a 75.1 kilo ohm, or a 75,100 ohm resistor at 1% tolerance. Notice how the bottom resistor is different than the example. It actually has five bands on it. It's kind of hard to see, but the first band on there is purple, green, black, red, and then brown. This means you just take the purple, green, and black ones and do the digits first, then the red band would be the multiplier, and of course brown is still the tolerance level. The top resistor here is almost the same as the examples, it only has four bands, so you can just follow the examples with that one. Get used to seeing these resistors because we're going to be using them a lot. Thanks for watching everyone, and I'll see you guys in the next video.